Good morning, good morning, good morning and afternoon. Today is a really special day for me and this is really important for anybody who is working with photogrammetry. And for that video let's use good old Zelda Ocarina of Time. Because in this chest there is something new and shiny. And this is Ryzen 2022 version that is out since yesterday and you can go and download it and use it right now. So this version brings a lot of important changes, new shining buttons everywhere. But in this short video, I would like to focus on the three major changes that are important for photogrammetry people like me. So first of all, let's focus on the left side. And this is 3D preview window, window of our model. Right now it is GPU rendered. And as you can see, it's really snappy. Uh, there's no issue to work with it, with our model. And we can use front, bottom, left, right, that kind of things to see our model and create, right now, right here, uh, new UV islands uh, in a matter of seconds with all tools that uh, Ryzen brings to us. We can use polygon selection with the lasso to create new UV islands like here without any kind of issue. And this model is 1 million polygon, which is a lot, I would say. And right now, as you can see, we have a new UV islands just like that. My record so far is 15 million polygon that I was able to pack in Rhizome. And if anybody needs uh, such a polycount, I think we'll be quite satisfied with, uh, with the newest release of the Rhizome. It's super snappy, super responsive, and it can handle really heavy models. Second change, is, uh, change uh, with the new Ryzen is UDIM packing algorithm that is out right now. Um, the biggest issue with the previous version of the Ryzen was the uh, possibility of having UV island packed outside of the UDIM grid and uh, uh, that was really ugly. And this issue is fixed, but I would like to focus on the different thing with the UDIMs. So this, uh, I mean UV packing speed. It's still CPU based, but as you can see, it's super fast. And with the newest update, you get super accuracy, super speed, problem free, <laughs> basically. And you can use, of course, all those nice tools uh, that previous Ryzen ID had. So uh, initial orientation, uh, that kind of things, alignment settings, anything that you need to control your UV island packing ability, uh, things. And I would say there's only one software, I, or I suppose to say plugin that compare with the Ryzen right now with the speed. And this is Blender plugin called UV Pack Master. Uh, that is GPU based, but with the same speed as the Ryzen, you lose a lot of time by exporting files to Blender and importing them back. Because as we know, Blender is quite slow. When with the ZBrush, for example, and Bridge plugin, I am able to export that model, one million polygon model, to Ryzen in less than two minutes and pack it in the less than 40 seconds. And after under the five minutes, I already have a, a packed model that was pre UV cut in ZBrush with the polygroups, for example. You can, of course, unwrap it up here. That's gonna take longer, but initial packing speed are improved significantly. So third thing that is important for us is control over the texture density. So right now, let's turn on bottom panel when we can see texture density map. And first change is ability to select our UVs island up here directly. So let's say I want to select every single one that have a above 6.3 text density, or I just want to select those that are around two. This is possible right now, which is outstanding because I have control over our model. And uh, for example, I can select everything above certain level, uh, 
size it down or up to a certain text density and those stays here. I can hide them and work further. So total control over the text density in Rhizome is possible. Second thing that related, uh, is related to text density is packing algorithm that gives you right now even more options. Because right now you can see we have uh, four different modes. Each one of those is explained when you hover over the button. But I would say the most important are those three. First one doesn't change your, your, your dim uh, UV scale at all. So if you set it up and uh, don't change scale and set up uh, scaling at 100%, Rhizom will not change text density. Second mode, scale everything to the average text density. So let's say uh, that one island is too big, so let's just hide it right now. And in the second mode, Rhizom gonna scale everything up to fill as much as possible uh, set up UDIM grid. So I don't think we are able to pack all those UV islands to 10 UDIMs, but as you can see, Rhizome scale everything up automatically. So we pack under uh, to seven UDIMs. And we can see text density up here. And the last one is to follow text density that we set up. So let's say, we just packed our model and we want everything to be at one text density. And you can select units up here. As you can see, we have full control over everything. And when we go to the last one, and of course turn off automatic scale after packing, Ryzen gonna scale down each single UV island automatically. That one was too small, so let's go with two and packed once again. Even more. And of course you can use uh, mathematical uh, formulas up here. So multiply, divide, that kind of things, uh, which is really handy. So let's pack it to, to four. Takes the density. And as you can see, really fast, really snappy, and we have a full control over everything. So yeah. New Ryzen 2022, plenty of changes and three really important uh, improvements for photogrammetry workflow, especially. And right now, uh, with that premiere, there's something else. We have a 25% off on the new Ryzen. So not only you get those improvements with the newest version, but you're gonna pay less, thanks to the Cyber Monday and Cyber Week. So go and buy and good luck.